All the cool kids nowadays are drinking tequila, but I bet you didn't even know that there's five different types. The different types mainly have to do with aging. For example, we've got Blanco. This is typically unaged or aged very little. It's the purest form of tequila. And if you're drinking tequila because you're smart and you know that it's the healthiest for you, that only rings true for Blanco. That's why I always drink 100% agave tequila and I always pair it with Super Recovery. Doctor formulated to help my body recover from a night of drinking. So correct drinking choices plus Super Recovery plus water means I wake up feeling like a bed of daisies every time I drink, which I bet you don't. But you can now, just hit the shop button below. Next, you got Reposado. This is where the melanin starts to happen. Been in the oak barrel a little too long, start to get a little color to it. And along with the color comes more notes of like oak, vanilla. You can only call it a Reposado if it's been aged between two to 12 months. If it goes any longer than that, that is called an Añejo. Now Añejos get aged anywhere from one to three years. Now in the world of whiskey, that's a toddler. But for tequila, that's some of the most aging that usually gets done. Similar to Reposado in flavor, but just like it is darker, it's also richer, spicier. Now, once you go past three years, they very creatively call that extra añejo. Extra añejo, aged for the longest possible time of any tequila. And because these distilleries are putting in five years of work sometimes, they usually do that to their best product. And then our last one, tequila cristalino. Now this is usually Reposado or añejo, but it's been charcoal filtered so that it can look clear again. Now, I don't know why you would do all that work to achieve this rich, beautiful color and flavor just to filter it the fuck out and look like this. So if you like drinking tequila, I hope you learned something today because 